November. Hope everyone's having a fantastic fall season, getting ready for the holidays. Super excited here at the Haro Group. Uh, wanted to let you know, market update, where things are at. This has been such an interesting year. The uh, there's there's you know we go over these stats with you guys every time. So this is GGAR MLS stats. So that's Greater Greenville Association of Realtors. So this is the Greenville MLS. And interestingly, there are three MLSs in the Upstate. Didn't know if you knew that. Uh, but this is the Greenville MLS, which does capture the majority of the upstate and many of the agents in the other two MLSs actually post all their listings in the Greenville MLS. So this is the most robust data uh, to represent the Greenville area and the upstate. So as of November 10th, we have these stats. Supply, this is same time last year over this year. So on November 10th this year, we had 2,941 active listings. Last year, we had 3,929. That's down 25.1%. Solds, year to date, this is through the month of October, they're up 9.3%. So 13,015 solds uh, last year through October. Now we've got 14,230 through the month of October this year. So one of the things I want to point out to you is that we hear, and I get asked this all the time, like there's no inventory. That is actually a false statement. There is more inventory than there's ever been because we're selling more houses than we've ever sold. However, there are more buyers than even the listings that we have. So that's what's driving this uh, uh, decrease in inventory and increase in, um, in number of solds. So this is driving up price. As everyone has seen and heard, we are seeing prices increase. Median price is up 12% year over year, and average price is up 14.8% to 320. Median is 263 for the upstate. 320, what we're seeing, and why this number is rising faster, is we're seeing more higher priced homes sell than we have traditionally seen. And this is, uh, at least anecdotally, there's not great data on this, and I wish there was. Uh, we're seeing a lot of well, uh, deep pocket buyers from all over the country, particularly more than ever than I've seen from the West Coast, moving to the Greenville area and buying things with cash, sight unseen in many, in, in many instances, and that's driving up price. Average days on market, lowest it's been since I've been in real estate since 2009. We're at about 30 year to date for days on market, the average in the MLS. The Haro Group, we're running about 10, so about a third of the time. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that, that, that's a trend that we're gonna watch for you is that in the month of October, we actually had less houses sell than October 2020. About five, uh, it was 5.7% less houses sold in the month of October 2021 than in the month of October 2020. If that trend continues, that'll be something to watch. We'll keep our eyes on it. Interest rates remain low. And everyone, uh, we'll talk about this potentially more next month, but 2022 is going to be a strong year for real estate. And if you have questions, call us. Remember, we can buy your house cash if that helps you. Um, and in some cases, we've bought houses for people so that they can then sell theirs and then buy it from us. We can do all sorts of things. Call us. We can be creative. We can help you solve your situation. Thanks for tuning in.